Oh. As part of an update today, has uh, you had now have the ability to group your tabs and kind of shrink them down into a group. If you go to like part way down that page, there's like like inches down that page, there's an animation that hmm. shows kind of like the shrink and expand of tabs in Chrome. Um, and you can actually name the groups of tabs. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was super cool because what I do for this show, in fact, I typically have a browser open and all the tabs in there are stuff I've kept throughout the week to add to the show, or I'll keep a different browser open with stuff for work. Now I can keep it all in one place. And what I'm really interested in is will this sync across devices? Mm -hmm. Because if that's the case, then it'll make my life even more easier. Like when I'm looking, because sometimes I'm like, uh, I'll just email this or I use, I don't know if you've ever used Pocket. I'll use Pocket um, from time to time. But I really like this idea of being able to group my tabs, expand them, shrink them, presentations for work where I want to have a bunch of different tabs open to, to show something. Um, I can put all of the I can stage all of the stuff, and but keep all my other stuff in there. Um, and if you're worried about about um, an issue or issues, they're claiming that even with this tab should be loading up to 10% faster. Um, the other thing they added is when now when you hover over a tab, it will show you a preview um, of what's in that tab, which is also I think super nice, especially if it's I don't know if you do the thing where like you're on Amazon and you're like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll right click open a new tab and like mm -hmm. you have like this whole yep. thing of opened in new or, tabs, either out of Google searches or whatever. 